So welcome to this video about eclipsing binary stars and basically what their light curve looks like. What do we see as viewed from Earth? Well, an eclipsing binary system is one that it contains two stars. They're orbiting a common center of mass. And as viewed from Earth, they appear to pass in front of one another, which is why we call them an eclipsing binary star system. Now, we can't actually resolve both stars normally. So when we look at a star, we would see the combined light of both of these stars in the binary system. So we would see just a single star and we wouldn't necessarily resolve or see two individual stars. Now, there are exceptions to that. So if you've got very, very large telescopes and this particular system, which is our goal, you can just about resolve the two stars and you can see the secondary star, the smaller star orbiting around the brighter primary. but you don't actually need to have large telescopes to find eclipsing binary stars. In fact, you can do it in your back garden with a relatively modest telescope. And you can even notice Algol naked eye. You don't even need a telescope because the dip in brightness throughout one orbit is actually fairly significant. So what does the light curve of the combined stars look like? Well, here you've got a light curve, which is the brightness of the star against time. We've got it as phase because actually the phase just denotes one orbital period of the system. And you can see that you've got a larger dip than a smaller dip. So we've got the primary eclipse and the secondary eclipse there. So let's have a look at what causes the shape of this light curve. Now when the two stars are fully separated, you're going to get the maximum brightness of the total light that we are measuring because you've got both stars contributing all of their light so we get the maximum brightness when the stars are fully separated as viewed from Earth. Now the biggest dip is when the smallest star then eclipses the larger star so you get the primary transit then so as, as viewed from Earth the smaller star passes in front of the brighter bigger star and we get our primary eclipse there. The secondary eclipse, the smaller one, is when that smaller star passes behind the larger star. So that is our secondary eclipse. And because it's passing behind the brighter star, it's a, it's a smaller dip in brightness, basically. Now, if the two stars are of a similar size, <clears throat> then the dip in brightness from both eclipses is similar. So if both stars are exactly the same size, when they eclipse each other, then they're going to have the same size dips. Now that obviously makes assumptions that they're the same brightness, same temperature, but yeah, similar, similar sorts of stars cause a similar size dip. And if you have a bigger difference between the two stars, then the secondary eclipse is going to be much less than the primary eclipse. Now it's worth noting the differences between exoplanet transits and the eclipsing binary star system. So an exoplanet transit is typically U-shaped. So you get these kind of straight, almost vertical edges, and then a bit of a rounder bottom. A binary star eclipse is more V-shaped. So you've got more angled edges to the transit, and you don't have that flat or curved bottom. So why does that occur? Well, a star is obviously larger than a planet. So as they begin to pass in front of each other, it takes longer to, to cross across the other star. It never fully blocks out the light for any period of time, so you don't get that flatter bottom. And because it takes a longer time to pass in front, you get a more angled edge to the transit or the eclipse. So a binary star eclipse, the edge of the transit is not vertical. It's more angled like that. And then a exoplanet transit it's closer to being vertical because it's smaller. It passes in front of the star quicker and then it stays blocking out as much light as it can for a longer period of time, whereas a star wouldn't do that. And you get a bit of a rounder bottom due to limb darkening as well. So thank you for watching. And if you enjoy, then you can check out some of the other videos.